Hello everyone. Now let's study the chapter four, eukaryotic steel. In this section, uh, we are going to study the different uh, the three uh, groups: the bacteria, archaea, and the eukaryotic steel. So the first eukaryotic steel uh, appeared uh, two to three billion years ago. Uh, so now uh, we know. Uh, so the microorganism uh, has three uh, categories: uh, bacteria, archaea, and uh, eukaryotic cell. Actually, uh, all of these three categories uh, are evolved from uh, the last common ancestor. So the first primitive eukaryotic cell. Uh, are the single cells and independent. That means uh, the the primitive uh, eukaryotic cells, so they don't like uh, live together, so they like uh, uh, live alone, and uh, so they have all the organelles uh, to help them to uh, live alone. And then, so the uh, since uh, since. Uh, the uh, since the environment is uh, so since the condition of the environment is uh, hard, so uh, so the eukaryotes they are decided to live together. So they live together to form the colonies, and then uh, some uh, uh, some eukaryotes they are uh, will uh, develop to perform uh, one specific function. Uh, the other uh, eukaryotes they are. Uh, perform uh, uh, another specific function. So together, um, so those uh, eukaryotes there can develop two tissues. So several tissues combine together to form organs, and uh, several organs combine together to form the systems. Uh, so eventually, so they develop to the animals, uh, plants, and uh, humans. So uh, once, uh, so once uh, the uh, eukaryotes still live together, so that means uh, so they uh, lost the ability to survive uh, uh, independently. Now let's work on this question: Which of the following char uh, characteristics is evidence that mitochondria were uh, prokaryotes? Where? Well, uh, Scientists believe that uh, mitochondria actually is uh, one of uh, uh, so come so comes from a uh, prokaryotic cell. That's because uh, the mitochondria has the uh, characteristics uh, of uh, um, uh, so the prokaryotic cell. So what is the character? Uh, so what is the characteristics of uh, prokaryotic cell? So the prokaryotic uh, so the feature of the prokaryotic cell is. Um, Circular chromosome, uh, prokaryotic uh, ribosome, and uh, independent uh, um, division. So the membrane that can be inhibited by antibiotics. So, uh, so the correct answer is E. So the correct answer is E. Now let's see the structure of the of the three categories. Now the uh, now let's talk about the um, now let's talk about the flagella. So the eukaryotes there uh, also has the flagella. Okay. Uh, so the flagella of eukaryotes there is uh, um, more complicated than that of prokaryotes there. So this is called uh, ten plus two, because we can uh, actually so um, so there are uh, totally there are eleven acting okay like uh, so there are eleven so there are eleven uh, actings so we can see uh, so this is one two three so so there are nine totally there are nine in the peripheral okay so in the center of the flagella actually there are two. So this, uh, so this is one. This is two. So together, so this is nine plus two. 
So eukaryotic uh, uh, flagella uh, is different from uh, the prokaryotic sphere. Okay, so it's thicker. Okay, thicker and um, more. Uh, have, uh, so structure is more uh, complicated. So covered by uh, extension of the cellular membrane, long shape, uh, long uh, shaped uh, cylinder containing uh, regular space uh, metal tubular. Okay. Eukat is cilia. Cilia uh, is similar, similar to the flagella, however, it's very small and short. Okay. Um, so, some uh, in the cilia, uh, so uh, we can find the cilia in the, uh, so in the protozoa and certain animal cells, such as the uh, uh, such as epithelial cells in the respiratory tract and the epithelial in the fallopian tube in female. Okay. <coughs> So the glycocalyx, uh, so it's the uh, outermost layer that cover, uh, 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 so the uh, so the, uh, so the cover the sphere. Okay, so uh, it is made by the polysaccharide. Okay, polysaccharide. So so it can so it can be uh, so it can be. Uh, so it can be a form of the network of fibers, uh, similar layers, uh, capsules. Okay, uh, so they're functioning to protect the stairs uh, from losing water and the nutrients. Okay, um, uh, additions and uh, signaling, uh, uh, signaling, uh, sig uh, signal, uh, signal, uh, signal reception. Uh, so for the uh, protozoa and uh, helminths, uh, so they don't have a cell wall. Uh, so fungi, uh, fungi also have the cell wall. Uh, so the so the cell wall of fungi is made by the chitin. Okay, chitin. Chitin is another uh, form of the polysaccharide. It, and so it is rigid and provides structure support for the fungi. Okay. Um, so the composition is different from a bacteria archaea cell wall. So it's uh, similar to the uh, similar to the uh, similar to the, uh, similar to the glycol uh, calyx is also the polysaccharide. Okay. So it is the polysaccharide fibers. Uh, so in the uh, so in uh, fungi, so the cell wall is the chitin, okay. For the plants, so that's the cellulose, okay. Cellulose is for the plants, okay. Plants uh, or the plants and the grass, okay. So we can see this uh, diagram, okay. So this is uh, chitin, okay. So this is fungi, okay. This is fungi. Uh, we can see so this is uh, so this is a steel wall, okay, steel wall. So the so the middle layer is the glycoprotein, okay, glycoprotein, and uh, <coughs> uh, so the um, and then so that's the uh, um, mixed glycan, okay. So outer layer is the glycocalyx, okay. So the cellular membrane is uh, is is uh, similar to the membrane of uh, uh, of animals. Okay, <coughs> so that's the bilayer of phospholipids. Okay, uh, with the protein embedded. Okay, mm. also the membrane contains the steroids such as the cholesterol. Okay, because the cholesterol can that is the membrane rigid, uh, rigid, okay, and without uh, cholesterol, so so the membrane of phospholipid is very soft, it is very uh, flexible, okay, so <coughs> it's not uh, good to maintain the shape and uh, the proper shape, okay, so um, so uh, so the so living organism use uh, use the cholesterol to uh, stabilize the cellular membrane. Okay, so it is more important for the uh, species uh, uh, that doesn't have, uh, species that don't have the cell wall. Okay, such animals, human. Okay, 
So for those uh, species, uh, so the cellular membrane contains uh, a lot of uh, cholesterol. Okay. Cytoplasm membrane. <laughs> so, uh, so the bilayer phospholipid also a membrane. It also exists uh, inside of the cell. Okay. So they made the cytoplasmic membrane. Okay. So this is uh, very important because they form the organelle. Okay. So they form the cellular organelle. So cellular organelle can form a um, tons tons chemical reaction to produce the. Uh, uh, Factors that are required for the CS function. So inside of the CR, so the eukaryotic CR uh, has uh, many organelles. Okay, so the, actually the many organelles are made of the uh, phospholipid membrane. Okay, so. Um, so they are separated uh, from the cytoplasm by an external boundary called uh, uh, okay, uh, so the nucleus. Okay, nucleus is the most important uh, organelle. So nucleus is separated by the uh, nucleus membrane. Okay, nucleus membrane is the um, double layer of uh, cellular membrane. That uh, one cellular membrane has. Uh, Two layer of phospholipid. Okay, that means for the nuclear nuclear envelope, uh, it has four uh, four layer phospholipid uh, phospholipids. Okay, so uh, nucleus envelope uh, composed of two uh, parallel membranes. Okay, separated by a narrow space. Okay, so. Uh, so these two, these two membranes, uh, these two membranes are linked together with a small regular uh, space of a pore. Okay, so this pore can allow the can allow the uh, macro uh, molecular uh, macro molecules get in or get out. Okay, for example, the mRNA, uh, RNA, and the proteins. Uh, 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 get in or get out. Okay. So the nuclear, so the nuclear loss, nuclear loss is, uh, um, is, uh, is kind of in the central region of the nucleus. Okay. So, uh, nuclear loss function is to produce the ribosome RNA. Uh, so that's the RNA. Okay. Uh, so that's the collection area for the ribosome subunits. Okay, so we have the big units and the small units, right? Seventy s and thirty s for the new uh, for the eukaryotic cell. So that's sixty s and forty s. Okay, and uh, also the chromatin. Okay, in the nucleus, the chromatin is the material uh, to store the uh, hereditary information, okay. Actually, so that's a uh, lin linear of DNA, okay, and the histone protein, okay. Histone protein, so so this is uh, only for the uh, eukaryotic cell, okay. It's not uh, in the prokaryotic cell, right? And the prokaryotic cell has uh, circular circ uh, circular DNA, right? Since the eukaryotic uh, eukaryotic cell has uh, a very long uh, DNA. So, uh, so, uh, so they have to use the histone protein and to uh, embed it uh, with the DNA to stabilize the DNA. Okay. So chromatin is the genetic material for the cell. Okay. So here, uh, here we can see this diagram. Of, uh, we can see kind of in the center central region, so that's the nuclear loss, so that's for the ribosome synthesizers, okay? So this is the nuclear envelope, so this is the nuclear pore. Pore can allow the mRNA or RNA get out, okay? Allow the nutrients, uh, uh, proteins get in, okay? So this is the double layer of cellular membrane. That made uh, the nuclear uh, envelope.
So this is nuclear pole, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So the um, so let me introduce one organelle, okay? And so this uh, endoplasmic reticulum, okay? Actually, we have two uh, ER. One is the rough ER, another is the smooth ER. So the ER actually is uh, connected with the nuclear. Uh, so with the nucleus, we can see here, right? So this is uh, actually this is rough ER. So rough ER is connected with the nuclear envelope, okay? So the rough ER can allow transport material from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, okay? Because the uh, rough ER uh, makes the protein, okay? So once the nucleus uh, produces uh, ribosome, uh, so the ribosome can get out uh, from the nucleus through nuclear pore and reach to the rough ER and then attach to the ER and then to make the ER to the rough ER, okay? So the smooth ER actually, um, so the rough ER, why is called the rough ER? Because one, uh, if we uh, observe this structure through the electron microscope, we can see uh, the tens of ribosome on the surface of this ER, okay? So the ribosome over here makes the ER looks rough, okay? So for the smooth ER, yeah, smooth ER yeah, mm, doesn't have the ribosome, okay? So if we observe this structure with the electron microscope, so this ER yeah, is very smooth, okay? So that's why it is called a smooth ER. Yeah. <coughs> So uh, this ER doesn't have ribosomes, okay? So their function is for the nutrients processing, okay? Sanitize the lipids, okay? Sanitize the lipids. No protein macromolecules, okay? Such, such as the proteins, all the, all such, um, all such uh, cholesterol hormones, okay? Lipid hormones, okay? So this is the uh, rough ER, okay? So we can see the rough ER is connected with the nuclear envelope, okay? Once the mRNA is uh, sanitized, uh, so they can get, get out through the nuclear pore and reach to the rough ER, okay? So the ribosome will <coughs> be uh, attached, uh, so will be sticked to the rough ER to make the yeah, look, uh, so this is electron microscope view of rough ER, yeah, so this is ribosome, so we can see it makes the ER yeah, very rough, okay, so this is rough ER. Yeah. Here is the ribosome uh, sanitized the protein, okay, so this is the mRNA, okay, mRNA. So this is a uh, MI. Uh, actually, one MI can can bind with uh, tens of uh, ribosome. Okay, so those ribosome actually uh, produce uh, the uh, produce uh, produce the uh, produce their own uh, pr uh, produce the uh, produce the identical protein, okay, so all these proteins are identical, okay, are exactly the same, okay, because the ribosome uh, produces protein based on the information in the MRI, since the MRI is only one, so uh, all these uh, ribosome units actually produce the same protein, okay. So the uh, reason uh, for uh, for uh, for uh, multiple uh, ribosome uh, uh, attached to uh, mRNA is that uh, so this uh, so this fashion, uh, so this fashion can make the uh, production very uh, very uh, so very fast. Okay, so they can make a lot of proteins uh, in certain time. Okay. <coughs> Now let's talk about the Golgi apparatus, okay? So that's the uh, site for protein modification and shaping, okay? 
So once the ER made the protein, okay, so ER will send the protein to Golgi apartheid. <coughs> because, uh, 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 now let's talk about the structure of Golgi, okay. Golgi actually, so this is uh, consists of several uh, flattened disc shaped sac. So these sac are called uh, cysteine, okay, cysteine. Actually, so the, these cysteine are not uh, connected together, so they are uh, stay closed together, okay. Uh, so they are closed associated with the endoplasmic reticulum, okay, so they uh, actually uh, they stay close to the ER, okay. So the so they have uh, two uh, two type of vesicles, okay. One is the transitional vesicles. So those vesicles <coughs> travel from uh, actually uh, this vesicles is pinched uh, all uh, from the ER, okay, and travel from ER to the Golgi, okay. So their function is to transport the uh, raw protein products from uh, ER to the Golgi. Uh, so once Golgi uh, receives the proteins, okay, so they can modify the proteins, okay, such as add the uh, sugar chains to the protein to make uh, a glycoprotein, okay, glycoprotein, or add a lipid chain to the protein, okay. Uh, another vesicle is called a condensing vesicle, okay, condensing vesicle. So the, those vesicles actually uh, Pin is pinched uh, uh, from uh, Golgi, okay, uh, and uh, uh, move to the uh, lysosome of the cellular membrane, okay, because their function is to uh, pack, uh, pack the uh, end products of protein, uh, to transport those uh, end products of protein uh, uh, to to the to the to the uh, to the to the area that uh, need the, the uh, this protein, okay. And for example, the uh, some proteins are the enzyme for the digestion, so they can transport this uh, uh, enzyme proteins to the lysosome, okay, because the lysosome is considered as uh, cellular stomach, right? Uh, uh, some uh, proteins are hormones, uh, so the condensing vesicle can carry these uh, hormones and uh, travel to the cellular membrane and fuse with the cellular membrane to dump the uh, hormones, proteins to the interstitial space, okay, so outside of the cell. So as we, we uh, so as what we can see in this diagram, okay. So this is the Golgi apparatus, okay. So this is the tra transitional uh, vesicles. Transitional vesicles actually are from the ER and uh, and uh, transport this way to feel uh, to fuse with the Golgi, okay. <coughs> to uh, to transport the protein from the ER to the Golgi, okay. And then once the protein is modified, then so the end product of the protein can be uh, transported with the condensing vesicles to eat the lysosome of the outside of the cell. Now let's talk about the assembly line. Assembly line, okay. So how? How a protein is made? Okay, so first, mm, since the DNA contains all the uh, hereditary uh, information, right? So first, uh, so the information had to be uh, transcribed to a plate. So this plate is called RNA. Okay, RNA. So the so uh, so in the nucleus, uh, RNA is made. Uh, to uh, to uh, for the transcription of the information in the DNA, okay, and then so this is called mRNA because um, mRNA means messenger RNA, okay, because this RNA contains the 
uh, contains the DNA information. So mRNA uh, travel passes through the nuclear pore, okay, to the to the uh, rough ER, okay, actually to the ribosome on the ER, okay, <coughs> and then so the ribosome can attach to the mRNA, okay, uh, multiple ribosome can attach uh, on one mRNA to synthesize the protein, okay? So this process is called uh, translation, okay, translation, because uh, the ribosome read the information on the RNA based on this information to make the protein. So it's like a uh, translation, okay? It's like an interpreter, okay? Then once the protein is made, so the protein will be uh, transported to the Golgi. Okay, in the Golgi, so the uh, so in Golgi, the protein is modified, and finally the protein is the end product. So they have all the activities to perform their function. Okay, so this is the final product. So they can be packaged and uh, transported with the condensing vesicle. Uh, either to the lysosome or outside of the sphere. It's like this uh, different. Now let's talk about the lysosome. Okay, lysosome. Uh, uh, lysosome actually are the small vesicles. Uh, so lysosome contains uh, tons of enzymes. Okay, so they can digest the food. Okay, and digest the. Uh, food particle like the uh, proteins, okay. Mm. So protect, uh, so they can also digest the, the uh, microorganisms such as the bacteria, okay. For example, in the neutrophil, okay, neutrophil, neutrophil, we are, uh, we are, uh, we are eat the bacteria and uh, <coughs> and pack the bacteria in a small vesicle, and then the small vesicle we are fused with this some so this some. We use the enzyme to digest the bacteria. Okay. Also, uh, if uh, some cells are damaged or died, okay, so the system can also uh, digest those uh, dead cells, okay, to uh, to reuse the uh, organic uh, materials in the dead cells for the body. Okay. Vacuous, okay. Vacuous is uh, vacuous is uh, is a small vacuous are the small sacs, okay, that contains the free fluid or solid particles to digest, okay. And especially for the for the plants, okay, plants in the plant cells, plant cells has uh, vacuous. So the plants use uh, use vacuous to store the water. Okay, to store the water. So the uh, vacuous can also uh, find uh, can also be found in the phagocytic cells. Okay, uh, instrument to the food and other substances that they have in seeds. Okay. Uh, So they can uh, uh, so they can fuse with the lysosome, okay, for the food digestion. So this is the phagocytosis, okay. For example, for the neutrophil, uh, for the neutrophil, some cells. So the one is uh, one is cells find the food particle of the bacteria, so they can. Make a pouch on the cellular membrane, okay, and uh, form the pseudopod, okay, form the pseudopod uh, in the area of adjacent uh, adjacent membrane, okay, and then so they uh, surround the particles, and uh, so the membrane, cellular membrane in this side will feel, uh, uh, so this membrane in this side will fuse together and. Uh, to uh, pack the, this food particle inside of the uh, sphere, okay, and then <coughs> so the lysosome 
uh, confused with this. Uh, so this is called a vectors. Okay, vectors. Uh, this is called vectors, and this is a con confused with the vectors to release the on them, and and that's called a laser them. Okay, to the vectors to digest this uh, particles, and then so the. So the organic material can be reused, okay, so the food particle is, is gone. Now let's talk about the mitochondria, okay. Mitochondria uh, can be found uh, in, all, uh, in, in many, uh, 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 so in almost all the eukaryotic sphere, okay. Because uh, you, uh, mitochondria provides energy for the cell. Okay. Actually, scientists uh, uh, consider that uh, mitochondria actually is from uh, prokaryotic cells. Okay. Uh, so originally, mitochondria is one type of uh, prokaryotic cell. So the structure of uh, mitochondria is the sm uh, smooth, continuous uh, outer membrane. With the inner folded membrane, okay. So mitochondria has uh, two membrane, okay. One is the outer membrane. So inside there is the inner membrane, okay. So it has two membranes. So the inner membrane is uh, actually is uh, mu much larger than the outer membrane. So so they have. Uh, so the inner membrane had to be fold, okay, to fold, to be put in the, to be put inside of the mitochondria, okay. So the fold of the inner membrane is called uh, triste, okay, triste. Triste, uh, so, so since there are a lot of triste uh, in the mitochondria, so that means the, so, so the surface of in the Inner membrane is very large. It's very very large. Okay, so the tissue provides a large uh, uh, contacting surface uh, for the for the enzyme. Okay, so, so that can increase the uh, chemical uh, reactions. Actually, specifically, so that's the cellular respiration. Okay, because the mitochondria uh, use the sugar. Okay. Use sugar and uh, oxygen uh, to uh, generate energy through the cellular respiration, right? To produce the energy, and uh, the energy is stored in ATP. Okay, in ATP. So the ATP can be released to to the blood, to the other organs, tissues, uh, and cells, and uh, provide energy for the others. Okay. Uh, so the mitochondria uh, is very unique because so mitochondria divide independently of the cell, okay? Independently of the cell. Uh, contains circular DNA. Circular DNA is for prokaryotic cells, okay? So uh, even in human, uh, even in human, okay, even in human. So if we look at our cells, we so. So we can find the mitochondria actually in mitochondria. So the DNA is uh, is a circle, okay, with circle. So mitochondria has seventeen S ribosome, okay. So seventeen is is also for the prokaryotic uh, cell, okay, prokaryotic cell because the eukaryotic cells the ribosome are uh, uh, sixty and forties. <coughs> so this is uh, so this diagram. Uh, shows that uh, the structure shows the structure of mitochondria. So this is the crystal, crystal, okay, crystal, so the crystal. So they uh, gave the huge surface uh, for the cellular respiration, okay, cellular respiration. So this is the outer membrane, okay. Actually, this is the inner membrane. Okay, inner membrane, inner membrane. Chloroplast. Chloroplasts are only found in algae and uh, plant cells. Okay. 
So their function is to uh, is for the uh, photosynthesis. Okay, uh, this means their function is to uh, use the carbon dioxide, water, and uh, and sunlight to uh, generate the organic material, uh, so the organic compounds, and release oxygen. Okay, so this so that is photosynthesis. Uh, Photosynthesis. Uh, chloroplast uh, um, is uh, is similar to mitochondria, but uh, uh, they are they are larger. Okay, contains a specific uh, spe special pigments. Okay, so those pigments actually uh, is uh, is the basic basic uh, material for the photosynthesis. Okay, so most of the most of the pigments are green. So as what we can see, uh, uh, so in the nature, so the grass and uh, the tree are green, right? However, uh, some others pigments can also perform a photosynthesis. Uh, so those pigments are either uh, red, orange, okay, uh, yellow, okay. So they are also the pigments for the for the photosynthesis. Uh, ribosomes. So the ribosomes. Uh, uh, so eukaryotes they also has has the ribosomes. Okay. So the ribosomes actually uh, in eukaryotes are attached to the rough ER. Okay, rough ER. Uh, so they can appear in the mitochondria, okay, and uh, chloroplast. Uh, however, in the mitochondria, so this uh, 70, 70 is right. However, in the eukaryotes, uh, so uh, in the rough ER, yeah, so this is 60 and 40, okay, 60 and 40. So so that's different, okay. <coughs> can we find a short chain of uh, um, Polyribosomes, okay, polyribosomes. So the size, uh, so ribosome uh, has large and small subunits. Okay, you can see so uh, combina uh, combination, after combination, so this uh, it is because uh, this combination of 60s and 40s. Okay. <coughs> Cytoskeleton, cytoskeleton uh, gives the uh, so the skeleton support uh, support the shape of the stairs. Okay, so their function is to anchor in the organelle. Okay, to uh, to uh, to make sure the organelle uh, is is fixed in a certain place. Okay, and so the uh, cytoskeleton also have the transportation function. Okay, so the so the vesicles, uh, vesicles movement and uh, transportation of RNA actually uh, is perf uh, performed on the cytoskeleton. Okay, for example, during the stair cycle. Okay, so the uh, cytoskeleton uh, once uh, after after the duplication of the um, chromosome. So the chromosome of the where 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 trans. Uh, so the two Copy of chromosome will 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 be transported to the uh, op uh, to opposite uh, polar of the stair. Okay, so the actually there's the cytoskeleton uh, attached to, to attach to the chromosome and and pull the uh, chromosome to to opposite uh, um, polar position of the stair. So, um, so this can also cause the shape change and movement. Okay. So there are three type of set, uh, skeleton uh, elements. One is the actin. Okay, actin is the long thin protein string. Okay, and the filament. Okay, filament is the drop like structure and the micro tubes. Okay, long hollow tube. Here we can see so these are the cytoskeleton. Okay, actually, uh, 
they uh, interweave the together to make a network of the static skeleton to support the shape of the sphere. Okay, so this is the uh, immunofluorescent uh, microscope view of the uh, uh, skeleton. <coughs> so different uh, cytoskeleton can be stained can be stained uh, with different color like the yellow color or the purple color. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So we can so the green one is the nucleus because the nucleus is also is also linked with the. Um, Make uh, cytoskeleton skeleton because cytoskeleton skeleton can make sure the organelle in in the uh, in the proper uh, location. Okay. So uh, this table those this table shows the uh, difference. Uh, Difference of the uh, bacteria, carrier, eukaryotic cells, and the virus. Okay. So we can see. Um, so the. So we can see the bacteria uh, don't have the mitochondria. Okay. Uh, so the eukaryotes have the mitochondria for the uh, energy, okay. Uh, also for the Golgi, Golgi. So those uh, organelles, because the prokaryotes doesn't have those, doesn't have those, uh, those uh, organelles, okay. Only the eukaryotes have those uh, organelles, okay. Even the nuclear envelope, nuclear envelope is also one type of organelles. Okay, uh, so prokaryotes doesn't have those. Okay, so for the virus is very simple. The virus is just a, a live particle of protein and uh, DNA or either RNA. Okay, so that means the virus. Uh, um, doesn't have uh, all of these things, okay. <coughs> so let's talk about the indo uh, indo uh, symbiosis, okay. So the uh, indo means uh, inner, okay. Indo means uh, inner, okay. Symbol means uh, together, okay. Uh, biosis means uh, biogenesis, okay. So the uh, the scientists uh, believe that. Uh, the eukaryotes and uh, archaea bacteria are all from uh, uh, last common ancestor. So this is uh, the primitive sphere. Okay, um, emerged at at uh, emerged three to four billion years ago. Okay, so for this uh, for this ancestor, they use uh, so they use RNA as uh, as uh, a hereditary uh, information, uh, uh, to store the hereditary information, okay, and then um, probably the DNA virus will uh, transport the information of the RNA to the to all the three different uh, uh, spheres, okay, and then some uh, uh, prokaryotic sphere. Uh, will be uh, eaten by the eukaryotic cell. Okay, eukaryotic cell. However, the eukaryotic cell doesn't uh, digest uh, this type of prokaryotic cell. Actually, uh, eukaryotic cell live uh, together with this uh, prokaryotic cell. Okay, so this prokaryotic cell actually eventually uh, develop to the mitochondria of the chloroplast. Okay, so the so the uh, Keep their own features such as the circular circular DNA, okay, and uh, prokaryotic uh, ribosomes, okay, and the independent uh, division. So, uh, so this is mitochondria. This is the chloroplast. This is the plant cells, okay, plant cells. Uh, this is mitochondria. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so finally. Uh, 
pre uh, pre uh, eukaryotic cell developed to the um, mature eukaryotic cell. Okay, so eukaryotic cell live uh, together with the prekaryotic cell finally uh, to become the mature eukaryotic cell. So this is called the endosymbiosis. Okay. Now let's work on this question. Which of following organelles is responsible for energy production in the cell? So I give you five seconds so you can review the previous slides and give me the correct answer. Yes, so the correct answer is the mitochondria. Okay, mitochondria. It's for the energy. Okay, energy. Now let's uh, study uh, section three, okay? Section three is about the fung fung fungus, okay, fungus. So the fungus, uh, uh, actually fungus, uh, fung fungus cells have uh, many different uh, shape, okay? Uh, for example, so the yeast, okay, yeast is round, uh, over shape, okay. So yeast uh, is uh, sexual reproduction, okay. Uh, so the hyphae, hyphae is long, uh, dread like a sphere, okay, from the, the bodies of a filament fungi, okay. Pseudo uh, hyphae is a chain of the yeast, okay. Pseudo fun so the pseudo hyphae. Actually, it's not the real hyphae, okay, it's for the yeast, okay. So some fungus cells are considered the di dimorphic, okay, that means uh, two, two different uh, shapes, okay, and can take uh, either form depending on the uh, environmental conditions, okay. So the, so the hyphae, okay, actually the hyphae, uh, has uh, two different uh, two different uh, uh, fashion. Okay, one is the uh, non uh, non separate uh, hyphae. Okay, so that means that is uh, continuous the hollow uh, tube of the hyphae. Okay, so the uh, separate hyphae separate hyphae actually. So the hyphae is uh, uh, separated uh, to multiple compartments with the membrane. Okay, so this membrane. Actually, um, actually, so there are still some uh, channel the pull on the on the on uh, so on the accept. Okay, can allow the nutrients and waters uh, uh, transport through the hyphae. Okay. So this is the electron microscope view of the hyphae, okay? So this is septum, okay? So this is the electron microscope view of the yeast, okay? So the yeast, uh, actually, uh, so, so the, uh, one over structure is the one yeast, okay, the yeast. So the yeast actually, uh, use the uh, uh, sexual reproduction, okay? So they can duplicate their uh, nucleus to make a micronucleus and uh, uh, generate a bud, okay? A, a, a bud, okay? Uh, so, and uh, put all the necessary uh, organelles such as the micronucleus and some, uh, uh, some mitochondria and some uh, uh, some organelles in the bug, okay. Uh, so the bug uh, and then developed develop to a, a new mature uh, yeast, okay. And so, um, so a bug still uh, generated from the uh, offspring, from the offspring of of the parent uh, parent uh, yeast, okay. So. Uh, and, and continuously, so the yeast continuously uh, reproduced uh, and to form a chain, okay. So they, they can also uh, generate a bud uh, uh, to different direction to make a 3D structure like a cluster of the grip, okay. 
Uh, actually, uh, so this is the electron microscope view. Okay, so we can see so the yeast uh, are, are green. Okay, actually, uh, the electron microscope cannot uh, see the color. Okay, because the ele electron microscope only uh, shoot uh, shoot one uh, one. Uh, one wavelength of the uh, of the electron, okay. So the picture actually is the black and white, okay. All these color actually are the are the are the color uh, are the color uh, added by the computer software, okay. So the fungi and the human diseases, okay. Um, so the scientists have found that. Uh, Nearly 300 species of fungi can cause human diseases, okay? Mm. So it can cause three types of fungal disease in humans. One is the community acquired infections caused by the environmental pathogen, okay? And as, as the second is the hospital associated infection. So this is uh, called as infections uh, inside of yeah, uh, so this is called a hospital in, uh, hospital infections. Okay. So another, uh, so the third is the opto opportunistic uh, infections. Okay, actually for this one, so the fungus actually is the normal micro. Uh, Microbiota uh, in uh, in human okay so normally uh, so they don't cause the diseases okay so however if the human uh, have very low immunity uh, 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 so the if the human immunity decrease okay so this uh, fungus can cause diseases so that is called opportunistic infection okay. Even the uh, even the spore uh, even the spore of the uh, fungus can also cause uh, opportunistic infections. Okay, in the uh, AIDS patient, because the AIDS uh, disease is very, uh, because the mechanism for the AIDS is that the HIV HIV virus uh, uh, infect the uh, T4 cells of the patient to cure uh, nearly all the T4 cells, okay? Because the T4 cells is the cells for the immunity, okay? If the patient doesn't have the T4 cells, so the patient's immunity will collapse, okay? If so, that's why. So the immunity is very low, so all the normal bacteria, uh, microorganisms will cause disease in the, in the AIDS. In the ads, okay. so the fung fungus cell walls also contains very, uh, very, uh, also also contains uh, some, uh, some, uh, some uh, strange uh, substance that can cause allergy uh, to human. Okay. Some fungus also can produce the toxin, okay, like the poisonous mushroom, okay. So if the patient, uh, so if the people uh, pick the uh, pick the mushroom and eat that, uh, so the tox uh, so the toxin will kill the people, okay. Also for the for the uh, aspergillus flavor. Uh, as aspergillus, aspergillus uh, flavors. Okay, so those fungi actually can uh, grow on the wet, uh, wet uh, green. Okay, and uh, to produce the po uh, poisons. Uh, so if uh, uh, so, that's why uh, when the people uh, harvest the green green uh, corns, okay, so they have to dry the green and the corns, okay. So if not, uh, this this fungus will grow on the wet green, okay, to produce the po uh, uh, 
to produce the toxin. Okay. So if people or animal eat those, uh, so those, uh, so uh, uh, so those contaminate the greens. Okay. So, so, so the toxin can cause the people or animals die. Okay. So, um, so the fungus uh, can also, um, can also be a uh, pathogen for the plants to cause the, uh, um, to decrease the uh, agriculture's uh, production. Okay, to decrease the production of the corns or of the corn or green. Okay, can also cause the disease in the animals. Okay. Uh, um, Probably you guys uh, have heard that uh, uh, the white nose of uh, bat, right? That's because uh, um, so the uh, because the scientists have found that many bats uh, died in the cave. Okay, in the cave, and so um, all the bats. Uh, so so they found so the scientists found that all the bats died. With the white nose, okay. Actually, that's not uh, exactly. Uh, so that's not exactly the white nose. That's because the fungus um, uh, infects the uh, nose cavity of the bat and grows in the nose cavity of the bat. Okay. So the so 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 the fungus there. Uh, so the uh, so the fungus uh, where uh, uh, grows in the nose cavity and don't allow the air get into the bat's lungs. Okay, so that's why the bat dies. Okay, <coughs> that's so that's the one case of the fungus uh, f uh, fungus infect the animals. Okay. So the. So the fun, fun, uh, fun, fungus also cause the uh, agriculture uh, uh, product uh, loss during sh uh, shipping of the storage. Okay, uh, so it is estimated that the forty percent of the fresh product is consumed by the fungi. Okay. However, uh. So the fungi also uh, has the benefit uh, benefit for the human. Okay, for example, mm, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so they can be used to uh, uh, decompose uh, uh, some uh, uh, decompose some uh, uh, chemicals. Okay. Uh, so they can decompose some organic chemicals and uh, uh, return uh, the mineral to the soil. For example, uh, so they can uh, so for the uh, so for the uh, so you, uh, so for the dyed for the dyed uh, uh, animals uh, dyed uh, plants. Okay, so the fungi can decompose the body uh, dead uh, dead body of the plants and animals and. Uh, and finally, so the so the so the body uh, so the body is gone, and uh, so the body is decomposed to the uh, chemicals uh, and return. Uh, so those chemicals return to the soil. Okay. So that means without the so without fungi, so the earth will be uh, covered by the all kinds of uh, uh, dead bodies. Okay. <coughs> So the fungus can also uh, live together with the plant roots to help the plants to absorb water, water and nutrients. Okay, uh, so the fungi can also be used by the people to produce uh, the food, the antibiotics, uh, alcohol, vitamin. Okay. For example, the penicillin. Okay, the penicillin is one type of the antibody made by the fungi. Okay, so the alcohol. Okay, alcohol because uh, we use the yeast uh, for the fermentation. Mm, for the fermentation of the 
uh, greens to make alcohol, okay? Organic acid like uh, the like the uh, so like the vinegar, okay, vinegar. Uh, so excuse me, vinegar. Uh, so the vinegar that we use uh, in our kitchen, okay. So this is uh, one type of organic acid that is made by the fungi, okay. Uh, some uh, fungi can also uh, be used to uh, impact the flavor flavoring of food. Okay, so like a yogurt. Okay, like yogurt. So we use the fungi to uh, to to imp impact the flavor of the yogurt. Okay, the cheese. Okay. So the fungal nutrition is based on the uh, nutrition nutritional uh, fashions of the fungus. So we can divide the fungus to heterotrophic. Heterotrophic. That means the fungi uh, uh, require. Uh, uh, so the fungi get the nutrients from uh, a wide variety of the organic uh, substance. Uh, that means uh, this type of fungi. Uh, uh, fungus uh, eat uh, eat everything. Okay, eat everything. Cyberbic, cyber means cyberbic means the fungi can get the nutrients from the dead uh, dead body of the plants and animals. Okay. Um, Pyrostatic, pyrostatic uh, fungi means this type of fungi is can grow on the uh, body of live animal or plants or human, okay, to get the nutrients from the uh, living host, okay, living host, uh, living host. Actually, the uh, fungi get the, uh, so the example is, uh, so the, for example, I have mentioned the wet nose of bat, okay. So the wet nose of bat actually is uh, is one type of the parasitic uh, fungi because this type of fungi uh, live on the, uh, in the nose cavity of the bat, okay. So uh, eventually it causes the death of the bat. Actually, so the fungi is, uh, uh, so the fungi is will penetrate penetrate the the uh, sub uh, uh, penetrate the uh, substrate and secrete the enzyme uh, that is enzyme to digest the substrate. Okay, so that means they uh, they make the their digestion and uh, uh, they make their own digestion and absorption outside uh, of their body. Okay. It's not a, it's not like the animal and the human, because the animal and the human eat the food and uh, digest and absorb the nutrients uh, inside of their body. Okay, however, the fungi uh, do um, fung fungi do this uh, outside of the body. So the fungi can um, can grow. And grow in uh, nutrients poorly or the worst uh, environment. Okay, uh, always the uh, high salt or sugar content. Okay. Uh. So morphology of uh, fungi. Morphology means the shape. Okay, the shape. So. Uh, so if we uh, observe the fungi with the microscope, we can see the fungi. Uh, uh, so the fungi, uh, so the, so the, so the association is very loose. Okay, so, uh, so the, uh, so the link, uh, so the link between different colonies is very loose. Okay, um, for the yeast, uh, so the yeast uh, actually yeast are uh, the. Round shape, uh, it's like a bacteria. The bacteria, okay. Um, so they have the uh, so soft, soft texture, okay, soft texture. Um, 
so the uh, filamentous uh, filamentous uh, kernel for filamentous have uh, cottony, hairy, or velvety te texture. Okay. So mycelium. Okay, mycelium. Mycelium is the uh, valve interweaving mass of the hyphae. Okay, that make up the body of the of the mold. Okay, septa. Septa is uh, is uh, membrane that uh, make make the segment of the of the. Uh, 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 so uh, 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 so in the hyphae, okay. So in the hyphae of the of the foreign uh, organelles, okay. <laughs> so so the oh excuse me, yeah. So the septa 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 sep uh, separate the hyphae to uh, multiple uh, segments uh, and uh, compartments, okay. Make a, a septate hyphid, okay, septate hyphid. Uh, so without a septa, so the hyphid is continuous uh, hollow, hollow, uh, hollow, hollow tube, okay. Vegetative hyphae are, um, vegetative hyphae means, uh, so uh, this hyphae has, uh, uh, has, uh, um, has all kinds of chemical reactions for the function of the of the of the fungi. Okay. So the so the hyphae can produce uh, spores. Okay, spores. Okay. So the spores actually. So this. Uh, uh, so that's one type of the reproductive strategy, okay, um, because um, so once uh, so once uh, uh, so once exterior uh, environment is uh, is uh, is optimal for fungi uh, to to live okay, uh, to to live okay, so the. Um, so the fungi uh, can uh, uh, so the fungi may not require the reproduction. Okay, so if the environment change, okay, so the fungi can produce the spore. Okay, spore. <coughs> so the uh, spores uh, primarily is the reproductive, uh, reproductive mode of the fungi. They can be di um, dispersed uh, through the air, water, or living things. Okay. So once the uh, spores, uh, spores uh, find uh, uh, because the spores, so the spores uh, are very uh, are very uh, are very resistant to the hard uh, conditions such as the heat, uh, dry, or or, or or salty condition. Okay. However, if the spores uh, find uh, uh, optimal uh, conditions, so they can. Uh, so they can grow uh, two uh, new colonies uh, of the fungi. So there are two uh, type of uh, two type two type of fashion of the uh, of making spores. Uh, one is called uh, sporangiospore. Sporangiospore. Sporangiospore, okay. Sporangiospore actually uh, has uh, spore sac, okay, spore sac to cover all the spore inside, okay. So the spore can be released uh, uh, one by one, okay. So the sac is called uh, sporangium, sporangium. Sporangium uh, is uh, attached to the uh, stalk, okay. The stalk is called uh, sporangium. Low quarry, okay. Sporangulo four, okay. Sporangulo four. Another fashion is the uh, conidious spore. Conidious spore. Conidious spore doesn't have the spore sac, okay. So all the spores can be generated and bump out, um, bump out to the air or the water, okay.
So the sporangial spore, okay, sporangial form, uh, successive, successive uh, cleavage within a sac, of the sac called the sporangium. So the conidial spore uh, doesn't have the spore sac. Uh, sexual, sexual uh, reproduction, okay, reproduction. So the sexual reproduction, so that means it requires the uh, uh, male and female to produce their uh, to produce the offspring. Okay. So the so the sexual uh, reproduction can be performed with the fusion of the of the a fertile hyphae of uh, both male and female, okay, both male and female, to generate the spores, okay, so it's like the animals and human, okay. Now let's work on this question. For which sources can fungi uh, derive nutrients, okay? So I'll give you five minutes, okay? Uh, five seconds, excuse me. So actually, so the fungi uh, get uh, get uh, uh, their nutrition uh, actually from the uh, organic uh, materials, okay, like the uh, plants, animals, or other organic uh, um, organic uh, uh, substance, okay. So let's see what um, what. Uh, of these answers are the organic uh, material, okay? So dead uh, plants and the animals are the organic material, okay? Living tissues also uh, are the organic material. Rubber, uh, rubber actually is uh, one type of organic material, okay? Petroleum, petroleum is also organic uh, uh, material, okay? So that means the answer is E, okay? Because fungi can be used by scientists to uh, to clean the petroleum uh, pollution. Okay. Now let's work on section four. Okay, section four uh, is talking about uh, protozoa. So the protozoa actually is the Greek uh, word means uh, the first animals. Okay. Um, so the protozoa has uh, 12,000 species, uh, single steers, uh, uh, single steers uh, microorganism. Okay, so most are harmless. Okay, however, some can cause disease. Okay, so they live in the water or the soil. Okay. So some can cause millions of infections each year. Okay, and so protozoans, protozoan uh, are the single cells that contains uh, nearly all the important organelles except the chloroplast. Okay, so that's why so so that's why the protozoa can live independently. So they can live alone. Okay, so the protozoa have. Uh, Two parts of cytoplasm. One is ectoplasm. Okay, um, so this is uh, uh, involved in the locomotion. Okay, uh, feeding and uh, protection. Another is the endoplasm. Okay, so this is granular uh, in the region holds the organelles. Organelles. Okay. <coughs> so. So very interesting. So the protozoa has uh, has their primitive nervous system, okay, uh, to help them detect the detect the environment, okay. So they can move, okay. So they can move, okay, because uh, they can um, change the shape of their membrane to uh, to form the pseudo pod. Pseudo pod means. Uh, both feet, okay. So the membrane can 
can can eat the food okay can expire the waste uh, can poop okay can poop can secrete okay can secrete certain enzymes okay uh, the ship uh, so this ship uh, can constant okay either constant or change uh, or constantly change okay for example I mean boys I mean can change their shape can move okay so the so their size is so their size are relatively large it's, it's three to three hundred micro okay so the protozoa uh, are the hydrotrophic that means they can get food in uh, in a wide variety of the sub uh, substrate okay so they can uh, eat the dead uh, plants animals okay uh, Oh, on the bacterial algae, okay. Mm. So some has has a specific feeding structure, okay, uh, like uh, oral groves, gro okay. Uh, some can directly absorb the food through membrane, okay, through membrane, and uh, po um, pathogenic species. Uh, uh, they live on the fluid of their host, uh, like they feed on the tissues, okay. Like the amoeboa. Amoeboa, uh, actually, uh, they live in the uh, intestine of human uh, and cause intestine infections, okay. Uh, So um, let's talk about the life cycle of the protozoa. Uh, so the protozoa has two uh, life cycle. One is the uh, trophozoat. Okay, trophozoat. Trophozoat actually is the uh, one the uh, is uh, so once the protozoa live in the optimal uh, optimal uh, conditions. Okay, uh, so uh, their uh, life cycle is the uh, trophozoat. Okay. So in this cycle, so the protozoa um, uh, can 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 eat uh, can can eat uh, can uh, can reproduce. Okay. <coughs> uh, however, if the uh, exterior uh, condition changes, such as uh, the heat, uh, uh, drying, or certain chemicals, so so uh, so it's difficult for the protozoa. To survive in those conditions, so they will change to the cyst. Okay, they will change to the cyst the cycle. So the cyst cycle means, uh, so they can uh, generate uh, uh, more. Okay, and then they can shrink their shape. Okay, they can decrease their uh, function and activities. Okay, to survive in this. Uh, in the in those uh, tough uh, environment, okay. Since uh, uh, so, sister is uh, sister is uh, important important factor in the uh, spreading of disease because many uh, many uh, protozoa diseases is induced by the uh, consumption of the cyst by human, okay. So here is the diagrams use the protozoa, okay. So this is the trophozoa, okay, trophozoa. So we can see the shape, okay. So the membrane has a different pseudo pseudo pod, okay, to catch the food, okay. <coughs> However, if the condition is tough, okay. So uh, so they will shrink their size, okay. They will lose their pseudo pod, okay. So they become the wrong, okay. And then they will generate the cyst uh, wall. Okay, cyst wall. Cyst wall can be uh, once the cyst wall is matured. Okay, cyst wall is matured. Um, so that's a mature cyst. Okay, mature cyst is smaller than this one. Okay. <coughs> However, if they they find their condition become uh, optimal, okay, such as uh, uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, so the temperature is uh, temperature decrease, okay. So 
is 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 more uh, so the so the parameter is more strong, okay? So they can uh, return to the trapezoid position, okay, very quickly, okay? So some uh, protozoa only have only have the trapezoid face. That means. Uh, the, the, so that means they will die in the tough uh, environments, okay? Uh, some uh, protozoa has uh, both uh, cycles, okay? So that, uh, for example, the trichomonas vaginalis is uh, one type of the sexual transmitted disease. STD means uh, sexual transmitted disease. So this type of uh, um, protozoa, um, doesn't have doesn't have the cyst cycle, okay? So that means they can only live uh, inside of uh, human, okay, inside of the human body. If if they get out of the human body, so they will die, okay? So that means, uh, <coughs> so the uh, so uh, this disease uh, had to be transmitted by the. Uh, uh, sexual contact, okay. Sexual contact, okay. So the uh, intamoeba, intamoeba histolytica, okay, and uh, giardia uh, lambidia. Uh, so this type of, so these two type, uh, these two uh, protozoa have the cyst uh, cycle, okay. So. Uh, so the cyst can exist in the water or the food, okay, or in the uh, soil, okay. So they can be uh, consumed by the human. And so that's called a fecal, uh, fecal oral, fecal oral, uh, fecal oral, okay. Fecal oral pathway, okay, fecal oral pathway. Mm. So when people when um, people eat the seeds of these protozoa, so they can cause the diseases uh, in uh, humans. Uh, uh, in in humans, uh, in humans intestine. Okay. Reproduction. Okay. Reproduction. Uh, so all the protozoa. Reproduction uh, is by the simple asexual mitotic uh, cell division or multiply fission, okay? So sec uh, sexual, reprodu sexual reproduction also occur in most protozoa, okay? So the protozoa can use uh, can use cilia, cilia to uh, to uh, conjugate it together to exchange the uh, macronucleus to change the uh, DNA information. Okay, and then so this is for the sexual uh, reproduction. So uh, sexual reproduction can generate uh, more more different uh, uh, features and uh, traits of the protozoa can let the protozoa uh, better uh, adapt to the environments, okay? So that's the uh, meaning of the sexual reproduction. So here is the table shows the pathogenic protozoa, okay? So, uh, so we can see the giardia, okay, giardia, and uh, so this is uh, uh, trichomonas vaginalis. So the uh, so this protozoa infects the uh, vagina of the female. Okay, uh, so this is the one type of STD. Okay, sexual transmitted disease. So it is transmitted by the sexual contact. Okay. Uh, okay, you guys can uh, spend some time to uh, review this table. Okay, to better understand. The, the disease caused by the protozoa, okay? Uh, so,
So this is uh, also uh, so these are some other uh, pathogenic protozoa. Okay, pathogenic protozoa. Now let's work on this question. Okay, the active feeding multi stage of the protozoa life cycle is what stage? Okay, so I'll give you five seconds. Okay. So the uh, cyst is not for this stage, okay? Cyst is for the uh, tough condition, okay? Uh, so the endospore is for the fungi, okay? Uh, and uh, trophozoat, yeah, trophozoat, trophozoat. Mm. Once the protozoa uh, is in the optimal condition, okay, so they can so they can eat, they can drink, so they can um, do their uh, own uh, fun uh, activities, okay. <coughs> so now let's uh, uh, study uh, section 5, helminths, okay. So the helminths uh, includes uh, uh, tape worms, uh, uh, flakes, and uh, round worms, okay. Uh, so some type of the worms are very large, okay, or large can be seen by uh, naked eyes. For example, uh, some worms can be uh, uh, over one meter long, okay, so this very long, okay, so you can see this worm, okay. Not all the worms are the parasites, okay, so many live in the soil and water, okay. Uh, Parasitic uh, humans uh, spend a part of their life in in the host, okay, in the host, in the gastrointestinal tract, okay. So the uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, flat worms uh, are very thin, uh, of uh, segmented body plan, okay. And divided to the cystal, the cystal, the tip worm of the trematode or fluke, okay. Round worms uh, are called uh, nematodes, okay. Elongated uh, cylindric and uh, unsegmented body, okay. So this is the flat worm, this is flat worm, okay. So we can see, uh, so this type of worm have many, many. Uh, Segments, okay, segments, okay. So this is roundworm, okay. So this is unsegmented uh, cylindric uh, hollow tube, okay. So the worm uh, actually uh, they have uh, their organs, okay. So those uh, worms are the um, multicellular animals, okay. These, so these are the uh, organisms, living organisms. So, um, uh, multicellular living organism, okay. So they have their own organs, okay. Mm. So the uh, humans, so the most developed organ is the reproductive tract, okay, reproductive tract. Um, they also have the digestive uh, system, nervous system, and the muscular system, okay. Um, so the so the life cycle is the fertilize uh, is the egg okay egg so they make eggs okay larva larva and uh, adult stage okay adult uh, adult derived uh, so the adult uh, live in the host body okay and reproduce in the host body okay uh, nemat nematodes okay. Nematodes, so the sex are separated and different uh, in appearance, okay, for the nematodes. Uh, trematodes, trematodes actually, the sex uh, can be separate, can be separate, all uh, hematrophoditic, okay, hematrophoditic, that means uh, both female and male uh, features can exist in just one body or in just one worm, okay. So that means the, the one worm can be either male or female because one worm has both male and female 
we put that to check, okay? Sestored, okay. Uh, generally, Sestored uh, has uh, hermaphroditic, hermaphroditic. So Sestored has both simian and minion. Uh, we put that to check. Here means life cycle. Mm. Uh, so uh, most uh, here means uh, in fact in fact uh, animals or uh, humans uh, using the eggs or lava okay using the legs or lava. So the host uh, that uh, uh, so the host in fact is known as the intermediate host of okay, intermediate host because uh, the major uh, the major life cycle of the humans uh, are in the uh, either soil or water. Okay, adulthood or the mating occur in the definitive host. Definitive host. Okay. Uh, transport host is an intermediate that experiences no parasitic development. Okay. So the sources of the human infections are the contaminants, the food, the soil, and the waters. Okay, and infect uh, infected animals. So that, uh, actually, this is called the uh, fecal uh, fecal oral uh, pathway. Okay, uh, that's. Uh, that means the people eat the eggs of the larva of the humans, okay, to cause the infections. So the uh, root, so the root actually is, is through the oral intake, okay. Or the penetration through penetration through the tissue through the skin, okay. Uh, so that doesn't require the wound uh, on on the skin, okay. So so that's really disgusting. Okay, so this is the diagram of the hermes. Okay, uh, for example, we can see here. Okay, tinea solium. Tinea solium is the pork uh, tapeworm. Okay, so it can infect uh, both human and uh, pork uh, and uh, and pig. Okay, so if we eat uh, eat the uncooked uh, raw pork meat, so we can get these infections, okay? So that's why it's important to cook the meat, okay? So the parents uh, release their eggs to the environment, okay? Uh, so the egg has the shear, okay? Can protect the egg, okay? Uh, and develop it to the lava, okay. Uh, so the lava is relatively uh, vulnerable to the uh, tough conditions, so uh, so it can be easy to die, okay. So certain hermits can lay um, 200,000 to 25 million eggs per day because uh, the more eggs they made, uh, so the more uh, of uh, so uh, survived the uh, upstream uh, can be right. So let let me introduce an, uh, another important pyramids. Uh, uh, so the pinworm. Okay, pinworm. Pin, uh, one type of pinworm is the uh, interrobius uh, uh, vermicularis. Okay. Uh, so this is very common, very common in children. Okay, very common in children. And this is called a pinworm or seed worm. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, uh, so this uh, those uh, these uh, filaments uh, uh, infect uh, the large intestine. Okay, such as colon. Okay. Um, so they are two to twelve millimeter long. Okay. So actually, we can see this worm uh, with our naked eyes. Okay. Uh, so this is the tapered car, uh, covered uh, cylindric shape, okay. So the life cycle of this uh, here means is, uh, they can lay uh, eggs, okay. The legs are too small to see, okay. Uh, so if we uh, eat, uh, eat the food contaminated with uh, 
uh, this x, okay, so this x can get into our uh, co uh, columns, so the large intestine, okay, uh, so they can hatch in, the egg can hatch in the intestine and, uh, become, and to become the larva, okay, and uh, to become to the adult gametes, uh, okay, uh, just within one month. And then, so the male and the female worm can mate and to produce the egg, okay, deposit egg. So once the female, the female have to migrate to the anus to, uh, to release the egg, to deposit the egg. So once the female uh, reach to the anus, it causes a huge, uh, a huge anus itching, okay, huge anus itching. So the children, uh, they uh, scratch their uh, scratch the anus, okay. So, uh, so their hands can get the so 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 they can get the eggs on their hands, okay. So and then because the children we eat, uh, so we put everything in their mouths, right? So the so the patient have this habit. So once the um, children put their hands in their mouths, so they can eat the eggs. Uh, continuously uh, get the infections, right? So if they uh, use their hands, touch their um, uh, friends, okay, so they can uh, let their friends get these infections, okay? So this is uh, another uh, fake uh, oral uh, route for the infections, okay? So, um, it is uh, it is estimated that uh, uh, fifty species of chemists can cause disease in human. Okay, uh, so it's very common. It's very common for the chemist infection in the world. Okay, so it can cause. Uh, it can cause the billion billions infections. Uh, uh, in the world, okay, and not just limited to developing country, even in North America, so annually, uh, 50 millions, 50 millions infections, so that's huge. Now let's uh, work on this question. Adulthood and mating families occurred in the, I'll give you five seconds, okay? So you can review the previous slides. Okay, so lava is not a lava because the lava is uh, lava. Uh, so the larvae, so larvae are still the the, the children of the hermits, right? Intermediate host. So that's uh, not for the hermits. Okay, cyst. Cyst is for the. It's not. A, it's not for hermits. Okay, cyst is for the. Is for the. Is for the, is for the protozoa, right? Protozoa. So the definitive host, yeah, in you know, the definitive host, uh, egg. No, it's not an egg. Okay. <coughs> so that's uh, D. Okay, question is D. Uh, so the so answer is D. Now, so this is appendix, so you guys can use this for your reviewing, okay? Uh, so if you have any questions, so please feel free to send me your questions through your email, okay?